Although no one likes to admit it, companies steal ideas from each other all the time. Even the biggest names in the industry, such as Apple, have cribbed concepts that come from other places and found great success with them. The truth is that at one point or another, just about everyone is going to mimic someone else in some way. The same can be said for the modern day space race and the battle between billionaires to conquer the stars. Some of the biggest names in the world, like Elon Musk, Richard Branson, and Jeff Bezos, are attempting to leave the biggest imprint on space travel. And sure enough, it looks like they're starting to take one another's ideas and make them their own. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin has been making waves lately, and it's been turning a lot of heads. The Amazon founder broke records when he was one of the four passengers to actually ride on a new Shepard rocket into space. The short trip to space created millions of headlines, and was a major boom to Bezos and his desire to one-up Musk and others. After years of sitting in second place, Blue Origin had finally a lot more wind in its sails. But people aren't just talking about Bezos and spaceflight. Attention has turned to Blue Origin's new secret project named Project Jarvis, which sounds an awful lot like what SpaceX is doing right now. What is Jarvis and what does it mean for the competition between these two titans of space? Spaceflight enthusiasts were a buzz in May 2021, when a new rumor was making the rounds. The rumor might not be that exciting to most people, but to those who follow space travel technology, it was a bit jaw-dropping. Sources were saying that Blue Origin was changing the primary structural material of its new rocket, from aluminium alloy to stainless steel. You might be asking yourself, what's the big deal about altering the sort of metal used on a rocket ship? The truth is that it's actually a very big deal indeed. You see, stainless steel is the material that SpaceX uses for its Starship and super heavy rocket boosters. If it was true that Blue Origin was following in SpaceX's footsteps, it would be a significant change, and a sign that SpaceX really is setting the trends for all space tech and business. After some investigating, it turned out that Blue Origin was not changing from aluminium alloy to stainless steel. However, it was revealed that the company was working to develop a fully reusable upper stage for its prized New Glenn rocket ship, and that ship might employ stainless steel propellant tanks. And that is Project Jarvis. But Blue Origin's attempt to beat SpaceX at its own game and create fully reusable rockets of its own might actually be happening, and that is a big deal, and is a direct answer to the success that SpaceX has found. For years, Blue Origins resisted the idea of creating reusable rockets. Indeed, some of Jeff Bezos' top engineers and scientists have told him that it would be too costly and too difficult to build. But it sounds like Bezos is finally trying to take plans right out of Elon Musk's playbook. Project Jarvis comes straight from Bezos himself, who wants the entire project to be free of bureaucratic hurdles. He has put Jarvis on a fast track, and apparently those working on it report to Bezos himself. The plan is that Project Jarvis will develop a new reusable New Glenn rocket by the mid-2020s. If Project Jarvis is a success, and Blue Origin's team is really able to create a rocket that rivals SpaceX's Starship, it will be seen as a major success. Why? Because it's a reusable rocket, and all those things are the technology of the future. Something that has been a long time goal, but an unachievable one. Since space travel really began in the 1960s, think of all the money and time it takes to create a spaceship that is going to be used just once before it's unable to fly again and just discarded. That's exactly why Elon Musk has been so adamant about reusable rockets, since he founded SpaceX. His plan has been to create rockets, such as Starship, that can be used not just a few times, but thousands of times before they're retired, and this is a radical change from the sort of ships that have come out before. NASA actually was the first to produce fully reusable spacecrafts. Its space shuttle program looked like a massive, beefed-up airplane, and would visit space and then come back down to Earth and even land on a runway like a plane. The space shuttle program lasted for 30 years before NASA put it to bed. In the end, it was very costly, and the amount of time it took to refurbish and prepare the shuttle for its next flight was just way too much. While NASA might have created reusable rockets, they didn't create the cheapest and most effective ones. Since the retirement of the space shuttle, the crafts have taken astronauts to the stars have been single-use only. Musk is attempting to leave NASA and its space shuttle program in the dust. SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy will be able to be used and be ready again for flying in just a matter of hours. As you can imagine, this is a game changer for space travel. Jeff Bezos knows that, and that's why Project Jarvis is trying to create its own lane in the reusable rocket game. 
As you'd expect, no one inside Blue Origin is saying anything about Project Jarvis, as Bezos is keeping all the details secret and very close to the vest. All that is known about that is that Blue Origin is cooking up something that will rival SpaceX's Starship. The move is both a sign of how seriously Blue Origin is taking itself and also how much SpaceX is innovating space travel. They say that imitation is the highest form of flattery. That is true in this case too. It's also a sign of how competitive Blue Origin and SpaceX are. While there are plenty of other space companies that are emerging, seemingly by the day, and making their presence known, these two are surely the leaders of the pack. Their competition has recently reached brand new levels as Blue Origin sued over NASA's decision to select SpaceX as the company to create a brand new lunar lander for its return to the moon in a few years. That decision, paired with the newly revealed Project Jarvis, shows just how cutthroat the competitions become. To be fair, Blue Origin has other projects in development that could help it surpass SpaceX. And it isn't just about Project Jarvis. Its Blue Moon project is of partial interest for people who want humans back on the moon as soon as possible. The Blue Origin spacecraft is a lunar lander that was created to carry cargo and people to the surface of our moon. When it's completed, it's going to be able to move up to 10,000 pounds. The creation of the Blue Moon vessel is one of the major reasons why Blue Origin was so dedicated to landing that major NASA contract. The company was beyond confident in its custom-made lunar lander. Then there's Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, which is possibly the company's greatest creation and what it's most proud of. The rocket's going to be capable of launching 50 tons when it's completed and will be an ideal way for cargo and astronauts to travel among the stars. Currently, the plan is to have each new Glenn rocket fly for 25 missions. However, Project Jarvis might change all of that. If Jarvis is a success and Blue Origin finds a way to create rockets that are reusable more than just 25 times, New Glenn might have a much, much longer lifespan. It's obvious that Blue Origin has a lot to be proud of. Between its historic trips into space in July, its fleet of state-of-the-art vehicles, and its future, it is a company that is at the very forefront of space travel. However, there's no denying that SpaceX is right there with it, if not a little bit ahead. This neck-and-neck -neck battle for space supremacy has led Bezos to take a look at his dream company and wonder what could be changed, tweaked, or enhanced. Reusable rockets will be a huge part of that. Project Jarvis is shrouded in mystery, but it's obvious that Blue Origin has something big up its sleeve with it. Whether it's simply a way to create rockets that can be flown an endless amount of times, or something different and something more, it's confirmation that the company is making a major push to step up the competition between it and SpaceX. Maybe it's because of his anger over the missed NASA project, or maybe it's his taste of space travel after his maiden voyage. But Jeff Bezos is no longer sitting back and letting SpaceX run the show. He and his company are stepping things up in a major way. It remains to be seen what Project Jarvis reveals, but one thing is for sure. Elon Musk and the rest of the space tech industry will be paying close attention.